All right, let's get started installing Laravel Dusk to a Laravel application. So the first thing we're gonna do is require Dusk using Composer, Composer require as a dev dependency, Laravel Dusk. All right, so Dusk has been installed. Next thing we're gonna do following the documentation is run the Dusk install command. So what happened there was we downloaded the Chrome driver binaries. This basically allows Dusk to control Chrome for us. And now that that's installed, really all we need to do is run Dusk. So we can see right away we get a failure. And this is a brand new Laravel project, so I haven't even created an environment file yet. So that's what I'm gonna do first. I'm gonna copy my example, uh, my example environment file over to .env, and then we'll open up .env here. And then we're going to set an application URL. So in my case, just for this project, I'll do dusk.test, and then I'm gonna set up valet with valet link, and then I'm gonna call it dusk. So now if I hit my web browser, I can do dusk.test and get the welcome page. Nope, I need to specify a key. So give it a generate an encryption key there. Now we get the welcome page. Now let's try running dusk. Okay, now dusk is running successfully and we can see that there. All right, so we have dusk running locally. Now we need to get it running in GitLab. So we will make a dot GitLab CI YAML file. And then the first thing we're gonna do is define our stage. We just call it, uh, sorry, stages, and then call one uh, test. And then the next thing we're gonna do is define our job. So we'll call it dusk. It's gonna be in stage test. It has uh, an image that we're gonna use. And this is really key to this whole setup is that we have this Chilio user here who has created this Laravel Dusk CI project, which is basically a Docker image that runs everything we need to run Dusk for our Laravel app on GitLab. Okay, so I've set my image to be the Laravel Dusk CI and the stable tag. And then next we need to define some variables. So these variables are passed as environment variables to um, all of the Docker images that are spawned. So the first one is gonna be the MySQL root password and I'll get to this in a second. The next is gonna be the MySQL password itself, which I don't even think we need to define because that's already set. Uh, next is gonna be MySQL database. I'm just gonna call it Laravel. The host, we're gonna be running MySQL. Uh, the connection will be MySQL. And I'll touch more on the host in a second as well. The database. Now this is the Laravel, we're passing the Laravel. Uh, DB username is gonna be root, and then DB password, oh, username. And then DB password will be root as well. Okay, now services. So with GitLab, you can define if you want other containers to be spawned to run certain services. So in our case, we're gonna use another service to run a MySQL image. So we're gonna run the MySQL 5.7 image, and then that image is gonna pick up these two parameters and create a root user with the password root, and then create a default database for us called Laravel. And then uh, that image exposes itself as host MySQL. So our connection, sorry, so our host is MySQL, and we're gonna use the Laravel MySQL database connection. So that's how those two things are configured. And, uh, set up together. And then next we're gonna define our actual script. So the first thing we need to do is copy over our environment.example file to our .env file. Second, what we need to do is export our app URL, which could actually live in example. Yeah, it's fine. We don't need to change it. So second is actually gonna be composer install for our dependencies, and then we're gonna do configure Laravel, which is actually coming from this Docker image. So that's uh, like a bash profile script that is embedded in this image. 
Same with this next one, which is start nginx CI project. So that's going to spawn a server to actually run our Laravel application for Dusk to interact with. And then finally, we're going to run PHP Artisan Dusk. And then what I like to do as well is I want to upload all of the screenshots that Dusk takes to artifacts. So I define artifacts, paths, and then tests, browser, screenshots, which is where Dusk, Dusk places screenshots by default. Okay, so we have Dusk set up here. We have a test, looks like this. I'm just gonna add a screenshot, call it example screenshot, and then run our Dusk again. Then if we check browser screenshots, we have an example screenshot, which is our welcome page. So that's perfect. So we should be able to commit this up to GitLab. Say install Dusk and create a GitLab CI file. Cool. Okay, so while that's running, there's our job right there. We can check on it here. A few moments later. Okay, so when we left off, I was waiting for my build to run. And what ended up happening was the MySQL image that we asked to start, uh, just, it's not starting properly. And I'm not sure what's going on. I've tried reading through these logs. Uh, there's nothing really that I can figure out that's causing it to crash. Like from what I can tell, it, it starts okay. And then boom, it just starts shutting down. So, uh, I'm not too sure what's happening there. Um, so what I ended up doing instead, just for the purposes of getting the video out, is I switched over to use a SQLite memory database. So what I did is in database.php, I added a new connection called memory, which uses the SQLite driver, and then a database called colon memory colon. And then inside our GitLab file, I made a couple of changes. I dropped all of my SQL stuff, so the services are gone. The MySQL root password and MySQL database are gone. And then I changed the DB connection to be memory, which is the name of the connection that we just made in the database file. So now when our tests run, uh, we'll be using a memory database instead of MySQL, which isn't perfect because in production, you're not gonna use a memory database. Um, so ideally I'd like to get this fixed and running. However, for the purposes of the video, I'm just going to go ahead and use the memory database and that should do us for now. So after switching to the memory database, which was this commit, I ran into this problem. Basically the Chrome driver is failing to start and inside the Laravel Dusk CI package, it's actually telling you that you need to change your Dusk test case to add the no sandbox option when starting Chrome. So once you do that, we can go back to my last commit. I added the no sandbox. My tests are passing. So we can see it starts out fine. We install Composer, dependencies. We go down, we have Chrome version 76 running. Um, it's saying that our Chrome driver shipped with Laravel is out of date, so they go and grab us the latest one. Anyways, and then Chrome starts. We're good to go. We can run Dusk, and we get successful tests. And then we have artifacts that are being uploaded to the test browser screenshots folder, which we can go over to here under job artifacts, click browse, tests, browser, screenshots, click on the screenshot and we have a welcome page. So now this means once your Dusk tests are running on GitLab, you can actually go in and see the results and see what Dusk saw. So that is how you set up Dusk on GitLab. Um, I don't know what's going on with the MySQL stuff. It's working on my other project, which is running on a dedicated server instead of using GitLab shared runner. So maybe that's the issue. I'm not entirely sure. I did find on the GitLab forums that other people have this problem as well. So I, I don't know what to say. Um, at least the memory stuff works. So you can use a memory database. It's not ideal, 
but it's better than no testing at all. So to recap, what we did is we created, we installed Dusk following the instructions on the website. We created a GitLab file that has a job. Uh, we use the Chilio Laravel Dusk CI image. We define some variables, which actually we don't even need to define these as variables here. We could throw them in the environment file if we really wanted to. Uh, we install our composer dependencies. We configure Laravel, which the Docker image is doing for us. We start Nginx to run our server for us. Again, the Docker image takes care of all that. We make sure we're up to date on the latest Chrome driver, and then we run Dusk. And then finally, we want to save all the screenshots that Dusk produces. So we make an artifact for that. And then the two modifications outside of GitLab that we made were um, the Laravel Dusk CI image requires that the no sandbox parameter, parameter be passed to Chrome. So we do that. And then finally, because MySQL wasn't running properly, we use a SQLite in-memory database for our application to run on GitLab. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video and you learned something. Please leave it a like, subscribe to the channel, follow me on Twitter at Owen Conti, and I'll see you next time.